frogs, like this Xenopus frog, are quite sensitive to changes in their environment. Because of their sensitivity, frogs may help scientists learn more about the effects of chemicals in our environments, and they may help explain why so-called freaky frogs are being found in North America and around the world. But to understand why a frog might develop extra legs or a deformed body, we must first understand how a frog develops normally. From a small, fertilized egg, into a tadpole, and finally, into an adult frog. Frog development begins immediately after fertilization, when one egg cell and one sperm cell combine to form a single-celled organism. The changes that take place in the fertilized eggs are truly amazing to look at under a microscope. The single-celled organism divides. Then both of the two new cells divide. Cell division continues until there are about 4,000 cells. The period of rapid cell division is called cleavage. Notice how all the eggs divide at the same time? In real time, each cell divides about every 30 minutes. After six hours, the mass of cells is called a blastula, which means hollow ball. Soon, the cells in one spot on the ball begin to move and sink towards the inside of the ball. These moving cells eventually form a tube that is open at both ends. The ends are the future mouth and anus of the frog. Scientists call this process gastrulation, which means gut formation. In the process of gut formation, three layers of cells are formed. Some cells in each layer begin to develop into different organs. The first organs formed are those of the nervous system. The faint line you see on the ball of cells is the developing spinal cord. Where the line broadens, the brain is forming. As the nervous system develops, the animal lengthens. Notice it also moves. At the darker end of each of these two bodies, the head is forming. The two bumps you see on each will become the eyes. After two to four days of growth and development, the Xenopus eggs hatch and become tadpoles. Here is a fully developed tadpole under a microscope. Its body is transparent. You can see the heart beating to move its blood. Here is an older tadpole. A developing back leg is clearly visible. The tadpole's body is changing into a frog in a process known as metamorphosis. Three months after fertilization, the tadpoles have completed metamorphosis and are now small froglets. There are many mysteries we are still discovering about the ways frogs develop normally, nor do we fully understand what is happening in the cases of abnormal development, such as the deformities you see here. Whether these deformities are caused by chemicals we put into the environment, parasites, diseases, or other environmental changes, we do not yet know. But we do know that their occurrence is warning us of changes in our environment that might affect our health.